The most important thing to know about Lillian Smith is that she was the master at reinvention. And this started from a very young age. She recognized her own talent very early on. She was told by the city and uh, towns in which she grew up that she was incredibly gifted, keeping in mind this was already uh, an a area of California that had a lot of sharpshooters. And uh, she very, very um, early on realized that she was something special. And uh, she traveled a lot up and down California, but it must have been such a big deal to be discovered by William Buffalo Bill Cody. And when she embarked on the tour with the Wild West in 86 and 87 and 88, she must have thought at the time, this is the be all end all. This is where I'm supposed to be. This is where all my talents will be showcased around the world, not just in the nation, but around the world. And I don't think she ever could have realized how short her time and how meaningful her time with Buffalo Bill would be. She headlined at the 1901 exhibition as Winona, the long lost Sioux princess. And she performed in the arena with her dusky makeup and her beaded tunic. After World War I ended, she stopped performing with the 101 Ranch. She would cherry pick those performances that she thought uh, would be extra fun or perhaps where she saw a friend from the good old days perform. But she started to slow down. She didn't officially retire until 1925. By 1930, it was uh, assumed that she was at least half Sioux. It ne never differentiated what kind, but um, she was definitely uh, thought of as Native American.